name is Pam, if this is your first time here, and I wanted to welcome you to the Pam Fam. I hope that you like my content, and if you do, please go ahead and hit that like button. Please subscribe to my channel, and please ensure that you comment, whether positive or negative. If it is negative, please be respectful. All right, let's jump right into it. So, um, during one of my perfume, uh, talking about my perfumes, I think it was the nine questions for nine different occasions, um, I talked about Dahlia Devin and how I had all the flankers to them, which I do, but I wanted to talk about the four that I'm currently using right now. The first one I'm gonna talk about is the lightest one, and this is the O Initial. Dahlia de Ben O Initial, E A U I N I T I A L E. Okay? This is very light. This, I wanna say, this is an eau de toilette. Yep. Mmm, yes. This is very, very, very light. This was launched in 2018, so it's a fairly new launch. And it has bergamot, red orange, with bright and juicy notes, um, which bursts with positive energy. That's what it's, it says here. And now it's in rich flowery notes in the heart. A bouquet of magnolia, jasmine, roses, and gentle lotus flowers gives grace and femininity to the composition, accompanied by musk. I will tell you that the musk and the sandalwood that it claims to have, I do smell that. And that's because I have a nose, for, I don't know what it is. I have a nose for musk and a nose for sandalwood. But I like this. It's a clean scent. I've been wearing this during the week. I think I wore this on Monday to work. And I had to layer it because it has a flowery core to it, but it doesn't have a flowery make me sneeze a lot or flowery as an old lady or flowery as in, you know, my grandmother should be wearing it. I think it's a youthful scent. So this has a very nice, look at the mist. I'm not going to spray it on myself. See that? Yes. I can smell it. I can smell the citrus. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. So... The bottle's really pretty. It has like a, um, my fingerprints all over this. It has like a gold, like a rope at around the, uh, see, around the, the neck. And I like this. Still can't see how much you use. That's the only thing, but this one I like. So I think, mm, it got on my arm. So I think Dahlia O Initial is a good perfume for you to wear to work. It's a good perfume for the summer, in my opinion, um, for hot weather. And if you happen to like bergamot, if you happen to like sandalwood, if you happen to like an underling of um, musk, I think this is a good one. All right, so the next one is going to be Dahlia Devin. And I hear Nathan singing in the background. Dahlia Devin or the toilet. I will tell you, yes, oh, this is, to me, sexy. <laughs> I don't know how to say it other than that. The bottle, I forgot, I mean, it has a more of a, it still has the gold rope at the top, but it has more of a rose gold. Um, the liquid has like a more orange, more fruity looking, you know, I like it. I really like it. It's, it to me, this bottle design is modern me so this one I will read the notes for you this was this one is seven let's see 2014 September 2014 it was launched and let's see ah blood orange that's why I like this so much composition begins with a fruity accords of juicy blood orange and peach now peach fragrances um cheap peach fragrances like what you get at Victoria's Secret or stuff it's too it, I don't like those but this is a good blend. So it has peach, blood orange on the top, and jasmine again. So I think this is something that is in line with all the Dahlia Devins, where it has jasmine in it, jasmine and roses. Ending with sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. So it, I guess it's the way they layer the composition of the fragrances, and that's what probably what makes it has like the slightly different scent. To me, all the Dahlia Devins has a slight similarity to it, but you could tell the difference. So this one, same nice light spray. Yes. Another good scent for the spring or the summer. 
spring while well, spring's gone, so summer. Dahlia de Vin or the toilette. Okay? So the next one, Eau de Parfum, Dahlia de Vin. And as you can see, I've hit this one up some. See, about the same. Eh, this one I use more, the Eau de Toilette I use more. Because it's warm here. But um, yeah. So the next one is Dahlia de Vin, Eau de Parfum. And as you can see, I've used this up quite a bit. I opened this bottle, I want to say the end of 2018. So, no, February 2019, I think is when I had opened this bottle. I need to start labeling. That's the thing, maybe label things when I open them so I'll know. So this one is the wood, the main accords, it's woody, it's fruity. White floral, patchouli. Um, yep, I could smell a patchouli. Oh, yes, I could definitely smell a patchouli. Warm, spicy floral. So, mm -hmm. this one was also launched in 2014, just as the Eau de Toilette was. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. So, the top notes. Oh, my goodness. I really like this. If you hear any noise in the back, that's Nathan. Because I can't get him to be quiet. Alright, so this is... The composition is centered around samba, jasmine notes, wood, chipe or chipre, bass. It's created by Francois de Marchi. Mirabelle Plum is at the opening. Let's see. Let's try over here. Gosh, and I love this prayer. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. You say Alicia Keys really likes this perfume. Don't you love the time? Ah, yeah, okay, we're gonna leave that there. We're gonna leave that there. Okay, so I'll read this to you. Mirabelle Plum is at the opening, leading the way to the heart of sandbag jasmine and white flowers. I could tell that. The base is woody made of sandalwood, of course. Again, vetiver and patchouli. So what this has in it is vetiver and patchouli, which the other two, which was the the lighter fragrances, which is the O initial and the, um, hold on. The O initial, these two, and the Eau de Toilette, they don't have that in them, right? But it does, all of them have the sandalwood. So that's the one composition of it that... Yes. Oh my gosh. So my favorite so far. There are other flankers to it, right? But we're only gonna open. We're only gonna talk about the four that I have open right now that is in my rotation. This one is the Le Nectar, and this is my favorite. Um, I had it. I just opened this bottle. Um, because yeah. Yeah, I just opened this bottle and I've already. Uh, guys, this is the one I like. Oh. Mm. It smells bougie. Y'all know that's my favorite word bougie and expensive. It smells some vanilla in there. I could be wrong, but that's what I smell. And I do smell some fruit. So I'm going to look up. I'm going to look up the notes. I hate looking down like this. So Dahlia de Vinla Nectar, wow. Mm. It was the third addition to the collection and this was in 2016. Oh my gosh, smells good. Yep, 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 yep. So the notes in here are balsamic, it's a little powdery, that is true. Aromatic, it's woody, again, that sandalwood element to it. Floral, it's sweet, it's very sweet. That's why it's called a nectar. Yes. So for me, I think out of all of these, they're all flowery, right? Which I never really thought that I like flowers, but apparently I do. So my favorite, I'm gonna stick this right here. My favorite is this one, right? And this I think is a 1.7 uh, ounce bar. This stuff lasts on my skin, it lasts. Um, my favorite is this one. My second favorite is the... I want to say my second favorite is the Eau de Parfum. 
Awesome. Actually, no. My second favorite from this line so far that I have open is the Eau de Toilette. My third favorite is Eau de Parfum. And my fourth favorite is the Eau Initial. That's not saying that I don't like any of them because I love them all. Okay? I do. But, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with, with those. Now, if you have Dahlia Devin and you like it or you don't like it or, you know, just leave a comment and let me know what you think about the fragrance. If you have it, you own it, or if you've been thinking about it. Um, and let me know what you think, right? So, um, I think it's a good buy. You can find these on sale right now. I want to say Sephora has it on sale. So I would recommend you look at Sephora and see if you can get it there. And Ulta had it 50% off. Um, this is before COVID-19 kicked off. Um, Ulta had it on sale for 50, out of 40 or 50% off. So that's my recommendation. If you are military, the PX sometimes has it marked down so you can check in the PX as well. Or I would just wait until the end of the year and see if I could purchase like a gift set or something like that. Um, I didn't get any gift sets. I purchased all of these. I didn't pay full price. I bought them on sale, but I didn't get any gift sets with them. So I find that I like Givenchy fragrances. Not all of them, but a lot of them I do like. So anyways, guys, that's all I've got. I wanted to show you my open containers, open bottles of Dahlia Devin fragrances. So if you liked this and you want to see more reviews of what I think of what I have opened, <laughs> please go ahead and hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button and please comment down in the section what you would like to see or if you have any questions for me, okay? Again, if this is your first time coming over to the Pam Pam, thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate you coming in. I really, 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 I said it a lot, but I really, really, really do. And I think I have to emphasize it's a new channel, um, so not everything is going to be all hip and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm learning, right? And I really appreciate you guys coming in and being part of um, spending some time with me today. I really do. I really appreciate you coming and spending time with me this evening. I really, really do. So thank you very much and have a blessed evening, day, night, whatever time of it is in your in whatever part of the world you are right now i ask that you keep praying and stay safe please all right have a good evening or day bye